This hospital itself is very advanced. I mean, we receive patients from 19 counties. We're the only level two trauma center in the Permian Basin. We provide cutting edge care. Hi, Dr. Bose. Nice to meet you. Hurt your finger, huh? Uh, yeah, I got, <clears throat> I got myself um, kind of spliced it. People are people, whether they live in a big city or in rural America or somewhere a little bigger like here. We'll put a few stitches in there and get that fixed up. I think everybody is one step away from an emergency and you want to provide the best care that you can in those moments. It's the night shift in the emergency room at the Odessa Medical Center Hospital. It came together really well. So we took a total of four stitches. Good job, congratulations, you got through it. All right, take it easy. And it's a busy night for ER doctor Sudeep Bose. Hi, I'm Dr. Bose. Nice to meet you. Hey, buddy. My parents came from Calcutta, India. So how did he hurt his foot? To the United States. Grew up in the suburbs of Chicago and kind of knew at an early age I wanted to go into medicine. This one looks like it's not going to need surgery. Everybody has something that's most important to them. It might be their job, it might be their family, and none of that is possible without our most valuable asset, which is our health. It's a message Dr. Bose repeats over and over. Take care of yourself. And he's taken that message far beyond Odessa. Story of Dr. Sudeep Bose. Dr. Sudeep Bose. Dr. Sudeep Bose. Read about Dr. Sudeep Bose's story in today's edition of the Daily Herald. Courage isn't fast with fear. It's just realizing there's something greater than that going forward and doing your job. United we stand. The United States of America. It's hard to keep track of Sudeep when not on duty at the ER in Odessa. He splits his time teaching all the way up in Chicago at the University of Illinois and back here at Texas Tech. Not to mention his job as the director of paramedic training for the city of Odessa. With all that you do, you still make a lot of time to, to do things like, you know, this, what you're doing with us, CNN and all the other. Why do you do that? I think it's valuable that you can teach the patient at bedside one-on-one, -on -one, or you can get, be fortunate to be on a show like yours where you can reach millions of people and make a bigger impact and get that message across. So I think that's the most valuable part about it. And the role that shows like this play and media plays and keeping Americans educated is very important. That's Dr. Bose, the teacher, talking too, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Multiply. Okay, I'll be back. There he goes, off to another one. What you got? Ah! Oh, ah, we just touched my leg! Oh my god, please don't touch that foot. Oh my god, that hurt. I'm gonna move you over, we'll give you some pain meds, okay? Uh, so what happened, sir, you were on a motorcycle? I left and I was going home to see my wife and kids and I turned the corner and hit an old spot or something. I mean, okay. minimum 10 mile an hour turn. And were you wearing a helmet? No. Did you hit your head? No. Tell me everywhere you're hurting right now. We have drills for situations like this, and then everybody has their niche and their roll. All right, we're gonna need a few people to roll, just to stabilize that leg and then roll. The pressure, the adrenaline, the chaos of emergency medicine. It's all part of a night's work for Sudeep. You see, he trained for moments like this after joining the U.S. Army, where he served in a place called Iraq. In fact, Dr. Bose still holds the record for the longest serving frontline physician since World War II. You had another famous moment in Iraq, did you not? At least your hands did. I was selected as the U.S. physician to take care of Saddam Hussein. To take uh, care of correct, Saddam Hussein. To provide him medical care. And after he was discovered hiding in that. After the U.S. troops captured him. All of us at home saw the scene where your hands were going through Saddam Hussein's hair. What were you doing? Well, my job was to examine him and make sure that he didn't have any major medical problems before he was incarcerated. That was a very intense moment. And I think, you know, what that taught me that moment is that 
it taught me a skill that I'm, I've used on this night shift here tonight as well, or I'm going to use on this night shift as well, which is you have to focus and you have to do your job. Yeah. Oh. I have family in the consultation with his wife and his wife's mom. Wife and wife's mom, okay. Tell him I'll be right in there. Let me splint his leg first. Sometimes you get people who have broken the law. You get people who are screaming at you and they don't want your care. And you still have to provide them the best care that you can and focus on your job. Oh, God, please. You were a doctor at age 25. You were a, a combat physician in Iraq. Correct. You're a doctor in the ER. Correct. You're on the faculty of the University of Illinois and Texas Tech. Correct. You, you co-founded some company that I'm not sure does what. You wrote this, <laughs> which is used in training other doctors and, and personnel in emergency rooms. And you still carry the title of the longest serving frontline physician since World War II. I left a couple of things out. You're, you're what, the director of the EMS uh, uh, personnel here in, in Odessa? What am I leaving out here? Is there? <laughs> I am a normal guy who likes to like. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I like no, to... Forgive me. No. You're not normal. Please, 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 Harry. You gonna do a stirrup and a posterior? Yes. Oh! I think I've been blessed with the unique opportunity to see healthcare from different perspectives. Whether it's on the battlefield right up front or in an emergency room, you can take all this and put it together and improve things for people. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my God, it hurts. From the battlefield to the Permian Basin, decorated Army veteran Sudeep Bose always finds a way to keep his composure and concentrate on the task at hand. Hardly anyone can keep up with his exhausting work schedule, but somehow Dr. Bose finds the strength, a calm and composed patriot in search of the next crisis okay. in Odessa, Texas. I think this country has, with open arms, welcomed my parents from India, and uh, it was always instilled in me to pay it forward. And how better do you pay it forward than in a patriotic place like West Texas?